I mean, really, when you're talking about it, it's everybody's on a budget. Right. You know, and everyone's got to try and find something that works within their budget. We sell a dash and ECU combo that you could put in a Fox body or a New Edge or a Cobra that costs just what a 12.3 from our competitor. Exactly. Just the screen costs the same amount. And that's where I was going with all this. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here in Georgia at DIYAutotune.com to come check out all the exciting things they got going on in here at their corporate office in Gainesville, Georgia. Let's go check it out. So I'm back here behind the scenes in their shop where they've got dyno set up. They've got all these cool projects back here. And one of the coolest projects, since if you guys watch my channel, you probably know one of the things I'm into is the coyotes, right? And one of the cool projects they've got going on right now, and I've let you guys know a little bit about it in previous videos, is they're developing this plug and play harness and ECU for your Coyote Swap race application. So tell me what you got going on here, Steve. All right, so now this is a pre-production harness, all right, uh, but they're, they're already gone out to the contract manufacturer for production. This is one of the very few harnesses that we're not going to make in-house here. This harness is set up for a uh, coyote. Uh, we can do Gen 1 and Gen 2. Uh, we can probably support Gen 3 as well, as long as you're willing to go with like port injection. Um, so what we've done is we've done some some nice items here. Uh, so we've we're going to support the oil pressure sensor. Um, our MS3 Pro ECU can run natively all four cams of EVT, no extra box to order. Nice. We actually designed a special ECU just for this harness. Um, so you don't need igniter boxes or anything for the coils. Uh, it's built into the ECU. Um, and it, it's set up to run this thing full sequential. Um, all four cam inputs uh, go to the ECU, your crank input, cylinder head temperature. Um, we did some nice things on this one, uh, such as we're trying to make things relatively easy for the end user. So, you know, in a swap application, you're never sure, especially when you're setting up a race car, where your air temperature sensor is going to go. So we left that so you can do an easy sub harness for that. The alternator is on a sub harness because there's many different mount mounting locations here. Uh, we've left some nice easy plugs. This one has both the um, ethanol content sensor uh, connections for it. Uh, it's got a connection for an extra analog that you can use for fuel pressure. Um, and of course, like all of our harnesses, uh, this one is set up for um, dual O2 sensor over analog, if you chose, uh, so choose to do them over analog. Um, you also have the option to bring them in over CAN bus. Uh, we just try and make things nice and easy. We use a lot of DT and DTM connectors. Um, you know, these have a really long life. They can be plugged and unplugged many, many times. One of the things I don't like about the OEM GM or weather pack connectors that are used in a lot of harnesses is they, they have a very small life cycle. They're only meant to be plugged and unplugged a certain number of times. Usually it's 10. So after 10 cycles, usually most connectors have to be replaced. You can get away with hundreds of cycles on a DT connector. So what you're saying is like a lot of these guys, of course, if you're putting this, you know, a Coyote in your race car, you're going to do a lot of unplugging and plugging. Mm -hmm. But it's nice to know that, you know, when we're designing something new, we design it for longevity. Now, a lot of these OEM connections here, um, you know, of course, they have a life cycle as well, mm -hmm. but usually these are a lot less problematic. Sure. And usually you're unplugging these a lot less as well. And it's really cool to get back here with the R&D, what they've got going on here at DIYAutotune.com, seeing behind the shop. I'll show you guys some more stuff in here in the shop, what they've got going on. And guys, they offer products for all of your street and strip off-road applications, mm -hmm. tons of electronics, dashes from Grand Nationals to what's probably one of your biggest products that you got out there that, that people buy right now. Okay, so our two biggest sellers mm -hmm. are our plug-and-play ECUs mm -hmm. for both Miata mm -hmm. and Mustang. So everything from 87 all the way up through 04. Uh -huh. um, and we got, you know, obviously they're application specific. Um, now those are off-road race use only sure. applications. But. A lot of guys love to road race these Miatas because oh, they're yeah. the best platform if you want to get out and and have a blast on your you know your your go out and do autocross with these cars. 
they're awesome. Plus, you know, I know a lot of guys that put a 5.0 in these cars too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Monster Miatas are a yeah. handful out yeah. on the track for sure. Bet, so, man. you know, if you want, we can do a little tour of the shop here yeah. and we can take a look at some of the race cars. Heck yeah, let's go check it out. Miata sitting in here and got a, is this Nova? That is a Nova. Yeah, got a Nova sit. So this is, this is actually my race car. Uh, my dad and I share this car. This is uh, obviously a 4i. It's got a full funny car roll cage in it. Um, we haven't had the cage certified yet because the car's not ready. Um, this car is set up to go fast. Now we're not making 2,000 horsepower on this one, but this car is a stock block 351. Okay. It is stroked to 396 cubic inches, um, and it has a fairly large billet wheel 88 millimeter turbo. Oh. Uh, it's going to be run on E85. It's going to be using our MS3 Pro Evo. Um, this is going to be a fun car. I plan on doing a lot of instrumentation on this one, ride height sensor, shock travel sensors. Uh, okay. I'm pretty much going to monitor everything and um, we'll see how well we can get it dialed in for the horsepower it makes. This is my business partner Curtis Warren's Project Hell Horse. Um, don't mind the, uh, the towels and whatnot, we're just trying to keep everything nice and clean. This is actually going to get a GT40 tubular intake manifold. Uh -huh. um, you know, unobtainium these days, but we, we have one. Um, this is a fairly mild cam, um, but very large cylinder heads. Uh, probably too much cylinder head for a 5 liter, but we're going to find out. Um, and to supplement the lack of airflow at low RPM, we're going to use a hair dryer on this one. <laughs> <laughs> so we haven't actually, this project started a few years ago and has, has uh, changed ideas a few times. Um, so this is probably not the final placement of the turbocharger. Now this is a road race car. This car is meant to go out and do time attack. Um, and we're going to try and make it fast. A 1.5 JZ. This is known as the Bomber Girl car for... Holy smokes, look at that fun under that hood. So Bomber Girl is the theme here uh, for this particular vehicle. And uh, this one is owned by uh, one of our business partners, Scott Kaiser. He's got a number of really, really nice drift cars. And this is one of them. So guys, I gotta mention this. So as we're out here in this shop, it just, you know, it. I think about us being in the automotive community and us all being car guys. And look, they're making all this stuff right here out of their shop, right here in the United States. Your Amp EFI, your MS Pro stuff, your Digital Dash EFI stuff, co-owner right here. This is the kind of stuff they're into. This is the kind of company that I wanna buy from. Dude. So this is one of our dashes in action. This is a 10.3. This is a custom install for this car. We don't have a drop in for this one yet. We're working on it, but you know, got the tuning software right at your fingertips. But you guys do offer just a standard digital dash that you can make and do your own custom install for. Is that a, is that oh, right? Oh, absolutely. So we, yeah, we have a. We so just because it's not made for a 240 correct. doesn't mean you can't buy your dash and do your own custom install. That is it's just correct. going to be more about the mounting process than it is anything. Yeah, now we, what we've tried to do is we've tried to focus on the dashes that we have plug and play ECUs for. Mm -hmm. We try to focus on those, make things easy. Sure. But one of our biggest sellers is our 10.3 inch universal mount uh, uh, dash. And people mount it to their roll bars or onto just a flat anything, panel, right? just yeah. about anything. Um, that one's probably been the most popular. We okay. offer a 10.3 and a 12.3 inch screen. Okay. 12.3 um, is what we use in the Fox body, sure. o, uh, the 94 to 04. Uh, pretty much if we can fit it, we go with the big screen. Right. Otherwise, we use a 10.3. Um, There's nothing, you know, look, and I don't, look, don't, don't, guys, don't, don't shout at me for this. But when I see guys that's put a ton of money in their car and done swaps, and then there's this little five inch dash. <laughs> you know, you know, and I'm like, I know, but I think that's because a lot of folks don't know 
the options that you guys have out there too and the options that are coming the options that are coming so we only work with our own products or in a standalone application right now um, but we are working on you know supporting other brands uh, actively I just don't know when that's going to happen uh, you don't rush development you try and get sure. it right rather than fast um, but I mean, really, when you're talking about it, it's everybody's on a budget. Right. You know, and everyone's got to try and find something that works within their budget. We sell a dash and ECU combo that you could put in a Fox body or a New Edge or a Cobra that costs just what a 12.3 from our competitor. Exactly. Just the screen costs the same amount. And that's where I was going with all this because, guys, I cannot wait. So... I need you all to comment so I can send them the comments of how important it is <laughs> that they need to hurry up and get their dash ready to plug into anything that's out there. How cool is this? The jig where they put together all their harnesses. Now, from what I understand, there's a reason why you pay for quality. It takes up to four days to make a complete harness system right here on this jig table. Well guys, we've been having a blast here looking at the development of that Coyote Swap harness is going to be amazing. So look for things to come from DIY Auto Tune. Guys, I'm getting ready to wrap this video up. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and go check out DIYAutotune.com.